So in today's episode of Mods You Didn't Think You Needed in BMG Drive, I bring you the Giant Road Roller. So if you look at it from this angle, you might think, oh, that looks fairly normal, but I want you to pay attention here. We're on the German Autobahn, and those are two normal-sized lanes for normal cars. So yeah, this thing appeared on the repo, and uh, you know what? As impressive as it is, I really do hope that we get a normal version of this, because I honestly would love to see more like construction equipment here in Beam and G Drive, but it's not going to keep me from having fun here in the gigantic version of it. So I do have some traffic spawned and we're going to do a test here. Uh, after we run over a bunch of innocent people, I actually want to see this thing, like what it's capable of crushing. I've got a ton of different vehicles I want to test it out on. Also, this is, this is a fast road roller. My goodness. Almost as fast as you guys hit the thumbs up button because you enjoy BMG Drive. Oh my goodness, okay, this, okay, this, yep, this is a mistake, yep, okay, maybe there's such thing as going too fast in this, uh, we're gonna reset it now, you will notice a couple, like, quirks, uh, I won't call them features here, uh, with the mod, it is a little laggy when you initially load it in, and it doesn't have a uh, actual thumbnail preview when you load the mod, so you have to kind of look for it. So yeah, I'm hoping the author fixes that, and I'm hoping to see, like I said, a normal sized version of this would be really cool. Alright, let's test this thing out against some vehicles here. Let's go, uh, slow-mo. Traffic is attempting to avoid this right now, but let's see what kind of crushing power we have. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's beautiful. It just shows you the true physics of Beam and G Drive when you're rolling over something as heavy as this. and. I don't think I've ever seen a vehicle that flat. Oh, there it goes. It's jumping. You know, we... <laughs> oh, my goodness. It is a pancake. I don't understand the steering wheel uh, not flattening out. But, okay. Come on. Uh, I think the only time I've seen a flatter vehicle was in the Agent Y pack where they had the pancake. But as far as from pure destruction, like, that's bad. All right. We got to do this in real time speed. I want to I try to, like, keep this thing on the highway here. And then, like I said, we'll do a, a test with... Oh, my goodness. This thing's better at crushing things than the Blaz is. Man, that's what happens when you have a gigantic cylinder that... Yeah, you just can't escape it. Wow. So, yeah, I got I got armored vehicles I want to test this against. We got fancy, expensive vehicles. And, yeah, overall, I mean, I would say... Oh, yeah, let's do some police chase or something. There's not a place where this thing's going to be able to go down the highway. I mean, other than the Autobahn here. Like, if you take this on to, like, West Coast, you're going to hit every overpass. Yeah, it's always good. You know, BMG can be a serious card game, and sometimes you can have very not serious mods here, and uh, this could go either way. Like I said, if we had a normal size version of it and this, like, I think that'd be honestly pretty cool. Like, I'd load this thing up on, like, a big semi or something, maybe haul it across the map, and then take it off and run it over some people. So, yeah, here we are at Grid Map. We totally have to do this in multiplayer. We need to do a thing where, like, me and Neil are running away from, like, 10 of these. Uh, I think it honestly would be terrifying. Maybe it would be a little bit glitchy. Uh, also, we have a Porsche uh, GT3 RS, so not 100% sure where I actually got this particular mod, but as far as quality real cars, like, I would set this model pretty far up because I actually really like the way it looks. It doesn't seem to have really much jankiness to it, but this is like my dream car that, like, if you were to line up a Ferrari, Lamborghini, all supercars beside each other, like, I would choose this. The only thing is I can never justify spending that much money on a car, so here we go, we're just gonna crush this one. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. <laughs> it is so satisfying watching. Uh, another thing that kind of impresses me, hold on, let's hit with the back wheel real quick, make sure it's extra flat. Another thing that kind of impresses me about the mod, it doesn't seem to have the blast problem, which I think that's probably something to do with its tires. Like, the tires always, like, grab the vehicles and they'll, like, get shoved up in there. This one just straight up flattens it. Like, let's back over it real quick. Uh, let's hit it with the front. Like, it, it's so good. It just, it doesn't stick to the rollers at all. Uh, obviously, you know, the Porsche was not going to make it here. Now, I wonder if maybe I do have some vehicles that are capable of withstanding this. So I got certain mods enabled that I would love to see, like, get run over. But I have one that I'm actually curious about. So uh, about two or three weeks ago, we did check out this armored Stambeko. Now, just because it's armor doesn't mean it's crush proof, but... I'm curious if the uh, the roller is going to struggle at all with crushing this thing. All right, here we go. Now, a lot of people are going to say, like, hey, just go use the tank. I do find the uh, the tank model, the tank mod uh, that we have here in BMG Drive, it's a little weird. It can be a little bit glitchy, so I, I want to try crushing this armored vehicle. All right, here we go. Do we think it's going to go over it? Is it going to push it? going to get stuck? All right, here we go. Oh, 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 uh-oh. 
Uh oh, it's it's struggling. Okay, hold on. We might have already found something here. Uh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, if it flips, it's game over. It is pushing it right now. Oh, uh, look at that. That's awesome. I wonder if we hit this with force. Like, can we shove it under there? Uh, I think we found a vehicle that, like, just from rolling it, it can't crush it. It's going to push it along. I, I bet you whatever angle it hits it from, it's going to do that. Now, well, maybe the front angle might do it. All right. Uh, you've already ticked off the steamroller here, so you know what? We're going back, and I'm going to hit it at speed. You know, sometimes we just need one of these glorious little, hey, let's just crush everything episodes, experiment around with some vehicles. But I don't wonder if we've already broken the code to uh, stopping this thing. Okay, here it goes. Oh, it just bounces. Hold on, it's gonna have it up on the lid. Can it roll it? Can it grab it? Uh, come on, baby. Oh, it's even upside down. Okay. I think we're gonna have to hit it from a different angle. So what I'm gonna do, uh, it did, did it do any damage to it? Oh, it did, uh, it bent it a little bit. It's got that outer roll cage on it. It looked like it bent the suspension a little bit. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do, I think setting it like this, since the front is ramped up a little bit, it might actually catch it. Uh, let's go and repair it here. Uh, come on, I actually, I wanna see this happen now. Like, I feel like we've uh, met our match when it comes to the, uh, the vehicles that this thing can't crush. All right, here we go. Is it gonna push it or crush it? Come on, you know? Uh, I'm waiting for it. Will it catch it? I was hoping it would catch the front. It's not going to. It might need like a wall or something behind it, which at that point, you're just crushing something against the wall. But I think we found a vehicle that the roller just, it's struggling with. Okay, so I want to see if the armor can even be crushed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, on. Oh, we're going to need a max strength node. I'm going to pin it down. We're going to stick this thing against the ground here and... I hope maybe we can finally get a crush here. Here we go. Oh, 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 there it goes. Oh my goodness. Oh, it launched it back out. Let's see if the back roller goes over it. All right, check the damage. My goodness, it didn't even crush it all the way. It did a good job though that time. That's the most damage I've seen on that vehicle. So I think it's capable of doing it. You know, should we just back up over it? I, I think we should. I want to see this armored vehicle flatten like a pancake. Oh, 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 there it goes. All right, we're over it on. Oh, it flung it back, the nodes did. And, oh, just park it on it. Just make it collapse. Oh my goodness, there you go. Just, all right, right there. It is, okay, I think we finally did it. I mean, that's a little closer to pancake status. That'd be like a fluffy pancake. Okay, I got one. I would love to see this thing flatten one of these capsule buses. And I'm talking the one that is loaded full of dummies. All right, I believe there's 125 souls aboard this <laughs> poor bus. Uh, let's see if it just folds it. I, I think it will. I don't think it's going to push it or anything. All right, here we go. And... Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh, what do you think that poor dummy's thinking? And... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, it's stuck. Wait, I don't think I got the back half of the bus. Oh, that looks insane. Well, if you were in the back side of this, you might have actually survived. And oh, my goodness. That's all right. Well, I don't think the dummies can exactly be flattened. Well, I take that back. Some of them are definitely like little pancakes. My goodness. It's so satisfying. Like, I just want to crush all the things in the world here. Yeah, here's a question. What does it do to, like, big tires? Uh, let's park this monster truck just, like, right in front of it here. There we go. Lovely. All right. And I might roll it, actually. Am I going to wind up rolling this thing? Oh, maybe I should have hit it sideways on. Let's try picking up some speed here. Oh. Oh, did we bounce off the tires? Oh, we did. On. Eventually, I think it's going to, like, actually grab it. That's terrifying. Picture being in that thing. And oh, my goodness. There it goes. <laughs> All right, so the tires exploded. There was a rear tire, though. I think that just went in it. Let's see. I got one, two tires. Oh, yeah. One of the tires actually Oh, there it is. Uh, I believe that is a tire right there, and I believe that one to the left is a tire. It exploded. Like, that was pretty brutal. It took it a second, though. It was kind of rolling it along. Yeah, this would be terrifying. You'd have to be on a big, flat map, kind of like grid map here. But my goodness, could you imagine running from that thing? You know, I almost think I got to try it going down a mountain real quick just to see if it would make it. Okay, not as wide as the crash hard mountain. Question is, is it going to get like the speed wobbles or bounces? Or is it going to actually be able to make it down this? Because on... Oh my goodness. 
the speed on this. That's terrifying. Oh, we're getting bouncing, though. Oh, he's going to be able to hold itself together here. Oh, no. Yep, this is going to be a thing where... Yo! Yep, you're definitely going to be doing it on uh, <laughs> flat areas. Uh, I don't know what's happening with the camera. I think this is just such a big object. Uh, like I said, just a cool little quick video here about this mod. I would love to see a normal size one. Like, maybe we can do that, too. It's kind of get the best of both worlds. But if you want to check it out, I have a link down in the description. We'll see you guys next time.